three, two, one. Hey, so, my <clears throat> hello, my name is Huffman King, and this is my interpretation of Simon Says with the Raspberry Pi 4 Canicut using someone else's interpretation of the Raspberry Pi 4 um, creating Simon Says. So, what you currently see um, over here is, um, I guess we have our breadboard, we have two buttons, and we have these four four LEDs. We got some resistors, we got some male to male cables and some male to female cables going into our Pi over here. Um, over here on the screen, we have our little script of what's going on and it's pretty much how I created Simon Says. You can probably stop that and see what I wrote. Um, over here on the right side is our is our script. It's really bad. It's really bad. It's really really bad. Um. So yeah. Um. A little background on me is I'm a web developer. Um. I like to get my hands dirty with robotics and things like that, or start to get my hands dirty with that and work my way up. I want to create a magic mirror and get really really fancy with that and do some other things. Blah 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 blah. blah. But um. Yeah. So this is Python code. A little familiar with it, but I just wanted to get something to work. So you're gonna see a lot of like really unclean code that I wouldn't normally do if I was working for a, a company or my current job. Or yeah. Anyways, so this is the code up here. It's a little laggy. And then over here, as you can see, is um our interpretation of Simon says, or I'm about to demonstrate it. So um, I guess, yeah, so that's the background. Um, a little things to go into this is now, let's get started. So we have our four LED lights, and then we have our two buttons. Uh, resistors, or these guys, I should probably get some out of the box, but whatever. And then we have our male to male cables, male to female, and then again, our Raspberry Pi. Um, so what this is currently doing is, um, you know, if, okay, so now we're looking back at the screen, we're down here, looking back up at the screen. Um, once I hit stop, notice that the game stops. The colors aren't moving. Um, once I go ahead and hit run, we have our blinking LED lights. So for me, my interpretation of a game is, you know, um, you go to an arcade, you see all these different games and they're constantly blinking, they're waiting for you to press the start button. So this is pretty much the same ideology, get my hands out of the way, as that. So once we hit one of these buttons, um, it's gonna go ahead and blink back and forth to indicate that the game is loading, the game's about to get started, so just prepare yourself. And then once that blinks, um, the only lights, so Simon Says is a game that says, Simon says, um, touch your head. You gotta touch your head. Simon says, um, touch your nose. Touch your nose. Touch your ears. If you touch your ears, you're out because the game of Simon says um, is where you're supposed to do everything that the person Simon is as long as they preface um, the action with Simon says. So Simon says, jump five times. You have to jump five times. Jump three times. Don't jump three times. Simon says jump three times. You must jump three times. Jump three times. Pardon me. So the game's a little bit like that, whereas we're not really saying Simon says. It's kind of just a memorization game or a matching game. So maybe we can change the name into like um, memorize the blinking LEDs. But anyway, Simon says sounds a little bit cooler. Um, so to continue, the only LED lights we can control are this blue one and this yellow one with this button and with that button. So blue for that, yellow for that. This red button pretty much just indicates you have a wrong score. This green button indicates you um, reached the high score and it'll tell you your score as well. Um, this will also tell you your score if you don't beat the high score. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get started with that now. So I'm going to go ahead and start the game, as we remember. 
So the game is getting started. It's going to go ahead and blink. So now it's going to give us our first color, which happens to be a blue LED light. So we got it correct. So now it's saying blue yellow. So we got. So now we're on round three. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one wrong. So I'm going to go blue, yellow, yellow, or just blue, blue. And so now it's saying I got end of the round. It's loading and it's going to go ahead and blink. Um, that is counting my score. And so since we have the high score, the game just started. It's going to go ahead and give us um, our score, which happened to be two. We got two round three, but we only got two correct. So that's our high score. So now the game is in a, a loop. It's going to go ahead and say, whenever you're ready to start the game, you can go ahead and press these two buttons to start the game. So that's pretty much just basically it on matching the game. You know, really simple, basic. But let's play it again to show us um, not beating the high score. Right. So we're going to start the game again. It's going to load back and forth. And so now we got to pick the color. I'm going to get it wrong off bat. And so that was a bad example. Pardon me. Let's do it one more time. So that's the high score. So it's showing you what the high score is of the game. And what I wanted to show you was our score for that round or the overall game and then show you the um, current high score. So you show that. You, so you saw that that red LED light um, didn't blink or no lights bl blink to indicate what our score was, which happened to be zero, which should be correct. But let's indicate um, we got one correct. So we're going to go ahead and indicate that we have one score or we got one round correct. The current high score is two LED lights, two. And so let's do that. Okay, so we get that one right. So it's saying yellow, blue, so I'm gonna go yellow, yellow. So it's loading, it's gonna start counting my score. Or it didn't, but. So that was our um, high score, that was our score is one. And then the high score for the overall game is two. That's pretty cool. So now let's indicate us beating the high score. I'm going to go ahead and start the game up. So the first one is blue. Next is blue, yellow. Blue, yellow, blue. Let's go one more. Let's get four. I'm actually getting a little tricked out. Usually it's pretty easy. And wrong one. So we got the incorrect score. So it's going to go ahead and calculate our score, which I should have done last time, which it didn't seem to do, unless I missed it. One, two. That's the that was the old high score. Now it's showing us the new high score, which is something I forgot about. Three, four. Did we get the five? No, we only got the four. So that was pretty cool. So it showed you the old high score. It showed you the new high score, which is. Awesome. Um, so now um, we're going to have this running. Um, I guess you have the idea of Simon Says or what this does. Um, I actually, let me go ahead and show you. Um, let's just play it one more time to indicate um, just some randomness, just to have fun with the game, just to show you that this goes on forever and ever. And you can also see down here, too, in our um, code. It tells you that what your score was as well. And so I think in the next video, we're going to go ahead and break this down, show you how to put this together, as well as go over some code. So that was my indication of Simon Says. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and take a guess. Ooh, I got it right. Nice. Let's keep playing. But yeah, this is my um, interpretation of Simon Says or uh, copy. I got it wrong. Jeez. My memory is leaving me. So that was my score. This is the current high score. Cool. So yeah, Simon Says by Huffman King, um, interpreting someone else's version of Simon Says. I'm gonna go over um, some of these guys who made the original Simon Says interpretation 
um, how I learned to put these videos together, this, that, and the third. And yeah, pretty much it. Cool. Thanks.